All right, let's go ahead and make a quick video about making a um, stencil so that we know right where to put this back. Uh, let's see if I could say that any better. <laughs> All right, I thought in this video I might show you how to make a stencil that'll help you put the emblems right back in their exact position they were in uh, before you remove them. Fortunately, all these letters are stuck together, so they're not gonna come apart in a bunch of pieces. Otherwise, we'd probably be ordering this uh, or I'd be leaving it on. Um, if all these were individual, <laughs> that's too much. All right, well, let's get ready. Let's get going on this stencil. You're gonna need uh, two points to remember where this is at. Like, I can't just do this line because then I need the height as well, which could be this body seam here but what I'm gonna use is this body seam here and then this line here, and then I'll just outline the top and the side and we'll be good to go. All right, so I'm just kind of tacking down along those body lines and then we'll I just pulled it tight over this, over the lettering. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna find this body line here. I don't know, that one's actually not working out that great, is it? Well, we'll know it's the bottom of the line. Yeah, it's the bottom of the line, okay. So I'm not a huge fan of this line, so I'm gonna make another one. I'm gonna go, see there's this body line here, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little line right there to show me where that lines up. And then I can really just use this line and this one for placement. And then we'll go ahead and take the front of this badge here and we'll run our blade around it like this. All right, and that should be good enough for putting that back on. So it's basically this pencil here. I just took and cut the side of it off so that I can use it to mark all this out. So it can lay over the edge and still make a line. I'll go ahead and come down this side too. Terrific. And then so what we'll end up cutting out will be like straight down here. So like that will go away and then we'll come and then from here we'll come out and down. And, or even just straight over would be fine too. So all we're dealing with is this one side and then across the top. All right, so we've got this moved over to the table or over to the wall now. And we're gonna go ahead and trim this out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give myself a little bit of space on the sides and on the top, very minor amount. Okay. A little bit more space on this side. Oops. Okay. So you could see, I basically cut all the lettering out. Let's go ahead and cut this one. And then you know what? Might as well cut this one as well, just over the edge. Okay. Let's go set this back in place and get this badge on here. Don't let it fold over and stick to itself. You'd be in trouble then. It's pretty much game over. Okay. So we know that this line is gonna need to line up here with this body line. 
So I'm gonna do the, put that right in place, then hold it with this finger, and then I'll make my adjustments going up this, something like that, and then the rest of this should just lay out fairly smoothly. That looks really good. Okay, that looks great. Now our piece goes right back in there. Let's grab it and do so with it. So personally, I found that picking these off with a with a blade is easier than any other method of removing the backing from this stuff. This 3M double sticky tape, I hate getting all these little pieces off of the material, all the backings off. All right, terrific. Let's lay this back into place. Okay, so you can kind of put one part down and if you don't push too hard, you'll be able to move this part around like up and down, maybe a little bit back and forth, but more of the up and down part. And then once you give it a good press, it should all stay stuck down real well on top of the paint protection film. We haven't had any issue with these coming back off, so. All right, well that's our process of making a template for where these badges go. Um, I'm pretty sure in this one, we're also gonna show you the Wagoneer if I haven't already done that uh, before this badge. But uh, appreciate you taking a look. If you found anything useful or helpful, like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at how to make a stencil for this Wagoneer lettering so that we can get it back on there straight. So what I've done is I laid a piece of transfer tape onto the hood that's covering the bottom edge as well as covering up part of the lettering. And then I marked my first line down across the bottom of the hood and that'll make sure that we've got a nice, you know, that we put this back on straight. And then we'll come back in a minute here because we do need those two reference points in order to get this lined up correctly and measure the center. So right now what I've done is I've pushed the material up into the bottom of the letters and I'm actually marking them right where they meet the hood. And so currently I'm just doing the bottoms and then after I measure the center I'll come back and I'm gonna um, mark these out just a little bit going up the lettering. That way we can make sure to get the lettering nice and straight and make sure that none of the letters are angled a little bit as they go across the hood. So here I am measuring out the center. All right, so now I'm measuring up the letters just a little bit. And just like I did with the RAV4 lettering, I will go ahead and trim this out over on the glass over there, which I don't show in this video, 
but I did the same thing as I did with the other one. In this one here, we're showing, demonstrating just a little bit on removal of the lettering. Although this isn't a great video for that, I do have another video on the channel that goes over more of that process. The reason I'm heating this up is that the double sticky tape seems to cut a little bit better and a little bit easier when it's warm. Alright, so I'll also put a link to this tool as well. Just got something I got off Amazon and it helps cut through that double sticky tape so you can pull the lettering off. And as you can see there, as I get to the end of the of cutting through that, I do go ahead and grab the letter with my other hand because if you just pull all the way out, that those letters go flinging <laughs> wherever they want to go. Now this is a something I was doing here to remove this adhesive off of the hood and that's just using your finger to push that adhesive and kind of smudge it and smudge it and smudge it and you can get the double sticky tape off like this as well. We don't I don't use that technique anymore because it does really mess your fingers up. We went ahead and bought all the tools to do that correctly, so now we have that rubber eraser wheel that makes it much easier to remove that leftover adhesive. Okay, so as you can see with the letters across the hood here, not only do I have the bottom of each letter marked out, but because I went up the sides, I'm able to line the letters up correctly individually. And it's not such a big deal on something like an A or even the W really, because those are flat across the bottom. But when you get into other letters like the G or the O, it's nice to have that reference going up the sides as well. And to put these back on, we just take little pieces of the 3M double sticky tape and apply them to the back of the lettering. And that stuff sticks incredibly well to the paint protection film. And we have not had, like I said in the earlier video, we haven't had any issues with any of these letters coming, coming off ever. So they stick really well. Now if you've had you know, if you're going to have to do some ceramic coating, you definitely want to get these on before the ceramic coating because otherwise they probably going to have a hard time sticking. So you can see there when I lined it back up, that line across the bottom lined back up with the bottom of the hood. And then that center line, I would have measured that again to make sure that I was dead center. When I laid this transfer tape back on the vehicle. All right, well, there you have it. It's all back on. Appreciate you taking a look. If you found anything useful or helpful, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.